So this video, we're going to discuss creating a slope field for, di for a differential equation. Now a slope field is going to give us a general solution to a differential equation. In particular, we're going to look at dy dx equals y, which has the slope field that you see there, and we're going to talk about why it has that slope field. Now this differential equation gives us information about the rate of change of the solution for particular values of y. So what we'll do is we'll start with an empty graph and we'll pick a point or a couple of points and we'll calculate the slope at those points. Well remember that the rate of change is equal to y. So whatever the y value is will give us the slope. So at the upper point we have a slope of 5, the lower point we have a slope of negative 5. So we'll draw line segments that roughly have those slopes. Now we'll continue to draw these line segments. So we may pick another point that's in line with the points we picked because those line segments will have the same slope. Now these are long line segments so what we might want to do is use shorter line segments so we can fit more in here. So. Here we have shorter line segments and notice that because our differential equation is dy dx equals y, everything that's on the same level of y value has the same slope. So as we start to add more, that's going to continue to be the case. As long as they're in the same line horizontally, they have the same slope. And notice what happens as we get further from the x-axis. Because we get because y becomes larger, the slope becomes steeper. As we add more, this continues, and we add more until we get our general solution. So a couple things to notice. Notice that as we go up from the x-axis, our slope becomes steeper and steeper. As we go down from the x-axis, our slope also becomes steeper and steeper in the negative direction because y becomes more and more negative. So we have our slope field. And a slope field, again, is a general solution to our differential equation. Now as mentioned previously, we, uh, we have specific solutions to our differential equations and those come when we have an initial condition. So let's see what that would look like graphically. Well, what we're going to need is an initial condition. So let's pick the point 0, 1 to be our initial condition. Our solution is going to follow our slope field, but it has to go through the point 0, 1, like so. Now, remember, if our differential equation is dy dx equals y, we saw earlier that the general solution is y equals a e to the x. Inserting our initial condition of 0, 1, actually gives us the function y equals e to the x, so that red solution curve is actually e to the x. Depending on our initial condition, we may have a different solution curve. For instance, if our initial condition is here, we'll have a solution curve that looks like this. If our initial condition is here, we'll have a solution curve that looks like this. So, for each initial condition, we get a unique solution curve.